something that most of us actually know, experience, live with it, but we never take time off to actually appreciate it, so I guess. To do it passively. To by mistake. Uh, we actually do it and never realize that we're doing it. And this is uh, art, art in any form. And uh, we'll, we'll get to know why isn't it popular among the Ugandans. Uh, we now are here, Kanga, you're an artist. Today you're going to be inspired. And uh, if you're thinking of uh, uh, being an artist, this is your show too. And go to Facebook to follow a discussion or Twitter. Or send us a text on your phone to 6565. What is art? What are the different forms of art, someone? Um, the different forms of art, I would say, we have visual art. Mm which is uh, mainly drawing pictures, um, mm. taking photographs, painting, and uh, printmaking, mm. as well as sculpture. Then we have other forms of art, obviously, performing art, which involves music. Yeah, which involves music, dance, mm. and um, even production. I think art is all about trying to put what you feel uh, inside out there, people, yeah. out to people, right. and they really like it. Which other form of art? Mm, no, art is a good one. Because we are funny. Hey. Because we are funny. You want to take gula? Because we are funny. You want to go and get no. We just be tam blah blah. We just play one. No, I'm sad. You want to buy it. Jana, I know no. Because we are funny. You need to win. Because art is a good one. Because we are funny. You want to go and get no. We just be tam blah blah. We just play one. No, I'm sad. You want to buy it. Jana, I know no. Because art is a good one. Because we are funny. You want to go and get no. We just be tam blah blah. We just play one. No, I'm sad. You want to buy it. Jana, I know no. Because art is a good one. There are other forms of art like abstract art. Like, What's that? Um, abstract art is it was the developed abstract, 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 yeah. abstract yeah. art. Where like it's not something that people can understand. Is if you have a canvas and you just throw paint on it or something like. No that. Malaga, can you yeah, go? People right. appreciate it. Although I just I think art is anything where you create something and people can make an emotional connection with it. Right. Like, someone can connect and see that. Ah, this is good. This is beautiful. In fact, I've seconded what one of my colleagues has said. Mm. Uh, when it comes to what art is, it's just what uh, you expose to the public, provided it keeps them actually smiling, mm. happy. You are beautifying yes. uh, the public to know that this thing can keep actually us to, to actually enjoy mm. uh, that moment for some good period of time. Right. Uh, whether you express it in the talking, mm. you dress, mm. you dance in the public, mm. that's what actually mm. I define it to be mm. an artist thing. I have a feeling art is all about telling people that this world is nice. Because if I put on my shirt and I really show this shirt, it's too nice for life. Trust me, tomorrow you'll find many boys, agents, trying to put on such a shirt. Mm. Right? Art, Gabanga Malala, to show the people you're really <laughs> loving this world. Right. Sincerely. You're living and loving your life. Exactly. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Thanks for the mini bus jumps. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> In case you're just joining us, we're talking about art today and why should actually Ugandans care about it. Now I want to go specifically say into the art of set pictures first. Yes. Why music to Mutege? We go to Bivulus and uh, crowd those places. But when it comes to drawing, most of us do not know what's happening. The Tukula art. For example, man, have you ever bought any piece? What do you say? Katubo, one kuna balo kole guza wano kuange. Balo kole guza angifana nye yomuna. Guga mago guzi za kifana nye. Wale kutade mu kifana nye yante. Kuta gira. Baga mati guna guzi za kifana nye yante. Kati kujira mudala yesu guga guzi kumala yona. But but many born but many born again have artists yeah. in their yeah. churches, yeah. in their offices. I think he's making a reference to something that is um, religious or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I would be, you know there are some ritualic arts and things that have been passed on from generation to generation. But uh, I would say people don't buy art because first of all they do not. They, they do not know its different functions. Art can make you money. It's a lifestyle where yeah. people can make money. Yeah. Like you can make a dress and you sell it. Yeah. So that's also something you could do through visual arts. Yeah. And uh, it's pretty much about sensitizing the public about these different functions of art. Yeah. Art beautifies. Art, engage, art creates conversations. For instance, you come to my house, I have this 
cow, a man carrying a cow. For instance, I painted it and I have a man carrying a cow. Mm. People ask me why, who, who did that? Like, it, it provokes. It tells the story. Yeah, it tells the story. So, if you're, you're, you've probably got a new neighbors that have come to your house, you see how you break the ice. So those are some of the basic things that people need to understand. That right. If someone just writes down and maybe draws something, you know, anyhow, I would still appreciate because that's how this person is and I feel that that's right. how their connections are, their feelings about how this situation is, mm. apart from just, you know, buying it. Art is right. art and it will always be, you know, it was and it will always be. Our role is to recognize it and to use it the way we want to use it. Right, and fantastic. Can, yeah. Awesome. Well, let's look at Nathan Chiwere, who is an art critic and a tutor. <laughs> and uh, when we come back, we're going to still find out what if we are in Uganda, we don't mm -hmm. appreciate art. Why don't we buy abstract work? Mm. Do you have an art piece in your house? Have you ever come across these things? Uh, we'll be talking about that when we come back. But for now, nothing to it. If you're looking at art in general terms, uh, visual arts, design, um, um, theatre, film, I, I can't say that um, art has been used for, for a long time now as a tool for communication uh, across cultures. I can tell you that I know a thing or two about nearly all cultures around the world, essentially because of art, through their music, through their, their art, their paintings and all that. Okay? I know about the German culture, for instance. I know about the Jap Japanese culture, though I've never been to Japan. So that communication is very, very crucial. And then when it comes to music, it's even more, you know, more, more vibrant because we, the, the US pop culture, for instance, which many young people love so much here, we know about the Americans. Most people have never been to, most an average Ugandan has never been to America. But every Ugandan knows about 50 cents. They know about, this is culture, this is art. I think one of the problems we have today in Uganda is uh, the society failing to understand art, certain forms of art. When you talk of music, yes, everyone wants to listen to music, some, some of them want to, to sing. But when it comes to certain art forms that are modern, visual, modern visual culture, it becomes a little bit difficult for, for Ugandan artists to sell their art to the locals because sometimes they don't understand it, other times they don't, they can't afford it. So you find that most people consume contemporary art, visual art, of tourists, expatriates, and maybe those who are able to exhibit in foreign galleries. We need to promote our art the same way as music is promoted. I see a lot of promotion that goes on as far as music is concerned. And you, do, you never see any of that in art. Somehow, we artists put our stuff there and we expect by some miracle people will get touched and, and they come and, and, and like it. But I think it's important really that we have to, we engage, we promote art and get people to understand it and to like it. But also to do art that appeals to them or art that they can identify with. Certain art forms like abstract, or real, real abstract or nude art may not appeal to certain sections of society because of certain reasons. Why is it hard to get to the Ugandan buyer? <clears throat> One main reason. Yes, I, I think the, the reason why contemporary modern art isn't appreciated in the country is also, has a lot to do with uh, also the economy, the standard of living. If somebody works the whole day, they don't really have time to appreciate things like art. For that, at least for the majority of the population. Mm. But then there's a, a select few who have money, who, who have a certain standard of living where they can appreciate art. And also, but then on the other side of the coin, um, when there are our forms of art, like say storytelling in the evenings, like folk art, those are all very well established. And those are also forms of art, but we as modern artists don't, mm. don't realize that those are forms of art as well. Art, mm. Our artists, don't they make good work that you <laughs> like? Uh, what's the problem? Uh, I want, Actually, I, I don't want to pass here from an artist, I want yeah. someone who... When it comes to that point, uh, I consider the following factors. Mm. A majority of the Ugandans, uh, according to my own view, mm. they live below what they targeted so far. Mm. Uh, because you cannot go and spend on art when you are going to sleep hungry. Mm. Yes. Lately, there's been this um, topic in the art circle where people... Uh, 
like curators and tutors, have been trying to pass the message across to Ugandan artists mm. to get the art out of the galleries into the public. Mm. That's true. Which is what, which is, let me give you an example of Mini Buzz. If Mini Buzz was a show in a studio in NTV, the public would not be as interested. Mm. But yeah. seeing the bus going through the streets, the streets. picking up people, yeah. which is getting art into the public and gets them more interested. So yeah. I think it's something that we should do, the artists we should just get art into the public. And we're following the, the procedures of the, the, the people from the West. The people from the West have more money to spend on art. They can go to work to sit and go for a glass of wine in an art gallery and stay there. So when they come to Uganda, they do the same. Okay. But the normal Ugandan won't do that. So it's about getting the art to the normal Ugandan and right. get them engaged into it. How do you then do that? How do you get how, how do you get your art for me to know about your art piece with people? How how are you going to do it? This lady wants to know what you are doing. You just said he needs to be involved. Yeah. So how are you going to involve the public? I, I think that also comes back to the artist himself, how they want to use the I mean how they find art interesting to them and how they want to engage the community. For example, I am I'm a dancer and I also teach break dance and teach other dances to the to the to the people in my community. That's how I feel that this is how I can involve them. Not charging them highly, just bringing them and coming around and sharing whatever we have. We do t-shirt printing, we do other things like jewelry and all that yeah. kind of beating. We involve them, we go to their home, speak to them and tell them to come along. But these are things that involve expenses. You have to buy the t-shirts, you have to buy every material at a cost. You have to drink so, some water when you know, dancing. Yeah, it costs, it costs. But as long as you want to involve the, the community, you have to really check yourself. How are you going to reach them? And if that's what the, the, our art needs, then we have to do it. Because the problem in our country is we do not leave legacies behind. Mm. But from a young age, you nurture this child to get to love what they do. You make them to stay at their post. If the child is creative enough, they will pursue it in the future. That is the investment an artist makes for free of charge to go and make this. Because this child will go back and tell his mom or his dad that an artist comes. His name is so and so. So you actually and go to schools ones, and yeah. teach kids. You teach kids for free. Many do it. Even in prisons, they do it. I mean, there is some dance projects are even doing it better than some visual ones but it still starts somewhere but the public that's how they get on board mm -hmm. you see an artwork that is at 500,000 shillings you think you're investing just in that artist is going to get that 500,000 shillings and you probably buys a car and becomes rich no these artists break it down through that artwork mm -hmm. they enter they, they they get involved in community based projects without because mm -hmm. funding should be history Mm, but mm. if you support a local product, be it fashion, be it like you're supporting musicians, be it these people, these are the people that are proactively going to get Does it many trickle people. down if... Yeah, it trickles down. It's, yes. uh, it's not, don't look at the value of an artwork and say, oh, these people actually go on a non-documented... But okay. realistically speaking, yeah. you talked of a piece of 500,000, yes. you want to make this... <laughs> affordable. I can, it is affordable. You can get that piece of five hundred thousand. That's why I can't get it. The Kusola Gula to Bombay. The Kuba de Gamba went. Yeah. 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 Kukuba bifana yeye nini nini alimu eri yeyo muno no kukuba kadodi basa lambalu bantu baje kuenge jinga ba gule kintu iwa maendi no kintu kia wekiri munda munde. So there's a, a project we did like uh, making art at twenty thousand. Mm. Art at twenty thousand. Art yeah. at twenty thousand. But the Ugandans even who care have never paid me since two thousand seven. Wow. So because and also like when you put like art at twenty thousand, the people who appreciate our work, especially the artists, Patriots got the chance to take as many works yeah. as, as possible. possible. Mm. Yeah. So, um, because but other avenues like uh, why, like we're bringing art closer, because there's will be like uh, the street festivals, mm. yeah, like art street festival that will be on 25th. Mm. Uh, the idea is also like uh, trying to bring like because it's a free event and people come and engage, and this time even it's open studio, how like. The processes of an artist, the way you come and do your thing on the street. On the yeah. street, right? Mm. So people also understand what we go through, mm. because an art piece is not what you just you see, because that, that's what people think. It says it's just fake experience. It's just if people know the the processes of what you go through, right. yes. they might appreciate it more. Uganda House, Sebo. <laughs>